What's up, YouTube? It's Sunday. Take a look. I'm still recovering because yesterday I had to go on to a job interview. That one's 50 50. We'll see how it goes. Alright, today we're going to do some YouTube videos because it's Sunday. Because Monday I'm going to start right back at it with them job interviews. And you ain't going to be getting too many YouTube videos. Don't worry, between this week or somewhere at the end of the month, I will eventually snag a job. It always happens. We always get this period where it's a month or two months that I ain't got no work. And then right when I say I can't find no work, oop, work pops up out of nowhere. Which God has something to do with that. But this YouTube video ain't about me um, stressing about jobs. This video is about videos. As you know, when we get to Sundays, I always do one serious YouTube video. And then I do another one for fun, lay kickback for your joy of entertainment. So this one's going to be called Sex Game. Uh, the difference between a guy that is streetwise and a guy that is gangster. So we're probably going to change the name of the title because it would be a big, long title. Y'all don't want to read this big long name title so we're gonna have to call it sex game the man in the middle and you probably might be scratching your head alex why on earth would you call it sex game man in the middle because this video is actually to help out nice guys and good guys get a better idea and a better perspective on how they could somehow Stop being stereotyped by everybody, not just women, because you got some men who stereotype. Everybody keeps focusing on women stereotyping, but nobody never bothers to sit down and think about what if I'm being stereotyped by a man? Because it does happen at work, it does happen at the gym, and it does happen when you're playing basketball or when you go to the bank to cash your check. There's always these assumptions, negative assumptions that come from everyone. A lot of people love to do that. You know, judge a book by its cover because they think they can. Because, oh, if Hollywood can do it or the news can do it, then I can do it. And they fail to realize you're not the news. You're not Hollywood. You're not television and film. You're not news media for you to be doing it. But people are going to do it anyway. Now, see, in my last video, I talked about what happens when you're smart and you graduate from high school and college and you make your way into the real world and you find out the street world don't care if you graduated from high school and you was on the honor roll two or three or four years in a row or you got two or three or four college degrees this video we're going to talk about what you be hearing those rap songs where a guy say I'm not a player I just crush a lot that's what the man in the middle is he's a guy that he is in the real world. He does live in real times. He has good days. He has bad days. He has his good moments. He has his bad moments. Now, he's not perfect by any means of a stretch of imagination, but he's had those days where he might have to go through a bad neighborhood to either go to work or to come from work. He might have to go to the bad neighborhood to either go to the gym or to come from the gym. And he might have to go through a bad neighborhood for him to uh, go home or to come from home. So we say he's the man in the middle. He's 50% bad boy player, 50% nice guy, good guy. So he's not a 100% full-blown bad boy player. But he does, have, he does have some qualities in him that makes him the bad boy, the player. And then he has some qualities that make him the nice guy and the good guy. It's almost like saying he's the bad boy player, nice guy, good guy at the same time. It's not like in the movies and the television shows. Well, I'm talking about in the real world with real perspective. He's 50% bad boy player, 50% nice guy, good guy. So he's street smart. He knows what to do in the streets. What not to do in the streets. What to say, what not to say in the streets. He knows when he's at work, he needs to put his game face on and be serious. 
and, you know, do his best to bring his work production to the highest level so the company can be happy and satisfied. When he clocks out, whether he works part-time, full-time, or whatever, when he gets into the streets, he puts his street face on. And he is aware of his surroundings. He'll know if he's surrounded by Crips or Bloods. He'll know. And he's not going to try to perpetrate. He's not going to try to become something that he's not. You know, if somebody walk up on him and say, where you from? He's going to say, I don't gangbang. So don't come to me with that nonsense. I don't gangbang. You know, and they'll respect him because he straight out honestly tells the answer. And it's the way he takes the approach. Same thing if he uh, goes after women. He knows what to do and what not to do with certain types of women. Even if he encounters the wrong kind of woman. And some people might say, how come this guy gets more successful with women and he ain't the bad boy player or he ain't the nice guy, good guy? Because he's the man in the middle. He's found the middle ground. 50% of the time... He's got the bad boy player qualities displayed because sometimes it might require him to do some stuff that is probably out of his normal range. But he has the skills and the ability to compete at the market, in the job market, and able to compete on the street if he has to. So he's in the middle. You know, other words, he's neutral. He's not trying to perpetrate the images that he see in the movies and the television shows if someone assumes or thinks that he's an asshole then he's just gonna own up to it and say yeah i'm an asshole and i'm proud of it and some people might actually respect the person for that despite the fact they say he's an a-hole now what's it now the gangster now the gangster oh you see him all the time you know they be at the liquor stores you see them at the park playing basketball or football. You see them driving up the street, down the street, rolling their eyes, waiting for you to say or do something stupid. Because they want to prove their their street dominance. They be the ones uh, on the street corner drinking the alcohol, just ready for a street fight. And the difference between the man in the middle... Is that he's not like those nice guys and those good guys who graduated from high school and college and thinks the world's nice and innocent. The man in the middle knows how to walk, he knows how to talk, and he knows how to fight and back it up. There's a difference between the man in the middle and the nice guys and the good guys. What makes him similar to the bad boys and the players is that he ain't no punk. He ain't going to let nobody punk him. He don't care if you're bigger, stronger, faster. He don't care if you got a lot of money. He don't care if you're popular. He's not intimidated by your presence. He don't care if you're a celebrity. He's not intimidated by any of that. The nice guys and the good guys, however, they're very much intimidated by all the stuff that I just um, explained and described to you. But the man in the middle, he's not intimidated by that. He, you can see somebody like Jay-Z drive by in a 2020 Corvette or Jaguar and he won't even blink an eye because he'll go, yeah, you got a very expensive car that costs millions of dollars, but I don't care. He's not phased. And that will impress Jay-Z so much that Jay-Z you say, this is a guy I want to have alcohol, uh, a, a drink with. The nice guy and the good guy, oh, he's intimidated by that. Where he has to open his mouth and say, I wish I could have that kind of car. Where the guy in the middle, he goes, I've seen hundreds of celebrities drive cars like that. I'm not intimidated. You could have a mansion. That's not going to make me go, wow, you got a mansion. And a lot of times, that's how come these guys are able to get the woman a lot faster and quicker than the nice guys and the good guys. They're 50% nice guy, good guy. But they're 50% bad boy player. They're in the middle. They're that guy that can cross over into two different worlds. You know that old saying, the best of both worlds? Well, the guy has that ability to go into two different worlds and function at a high level. Where the nice guy and the good guy, they can't do that. The nice guy and the good guy, they have to be one entity and one entity only. The nice guy has to just be nice. 
seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Uh, same thing with the good guy. But the but the man in the middle, oh, he, he can he can be the bad boy player if he really wanted to. He does it 50% of the time. Sometimes you can say 60-40. Sometimes you can say 60% of the time he's the bad boy player. And then 40% of the time he's the nice guy, good guy. So sometimes it's 50-50. And then there are times where it's 60-40. But he's not 100% nice guy, good guy. He's not 100% bad boy player or to be technical with it, asshole. Now the gangster, oh, you're going to see the gangster everywhere. The gangster, you see him at the gym, there goes the gangster. You go to the liquor store on the street corner, there goes the gangster. The park playing basketball, football, there goes the gangster. You know, they hustling, they playing um, dice, there goes the gangster. So the gangster's everywhere. That's the difference between the man in the middle and the gangster. The gangster, you mess with the gangster's money, he gonna be driving up the street looking for you because he want his money. The man in the middle ain't going to be looking for you because you didn't pay him back his money. What the man in the middle does is, I'll just, I'll just, won't lend you no more money. The gangster would be like what you saw in the movie Friday. Remember the first Friday movie with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker? When Homeboy came with the ice cream truck and told Chris Tucker's character, Smokey, if I don't get my money, that's the gangster. The man in the middle ain't going to do that. The man in the middle going to... Say, let's go out to breakfast, let's go out to lunch, let's go drink some beers and sit down and talk. You owe me $500, you ain't paid me my money back in a year, what's going on? That's the man in the middle. He'll, he'd rather sit down and talk about the situation. And then if it can't get resolved, then the man in the middle don't want to lend you no more money. The gangster only knows one way. I'm going to find you and drive up the block. That's, that's the only way the gangster knows how to get you if you don't give him back his money. So that's the difference. This is just one of those serious YouTube videos. The second one is going to be a more fun, enjoyable, relatable video. Until then, peace.